Greetings, folks. It's Professor Fiore back once again with Mr. Hands. And we're going to talk today about the Arduino Uno development board. Here we go. These come in different styles. This particular one has a little plastic backing on it, so nothing accidentally shorts out. But basically this is what we're looking at. Point out a few things on here. First off, this is the Atmega microcontroller. And we have some other uh, peripheral items on here. Clock chip, little power section over here. DC power port to drive this. Otherwise it'll run on USB. Here's your USB, so you are going to need a USB cable, All right? So in we go. Business end, back to your computer. And what'll end up happening is we'll write code on the computer, on the PC. It'll then get downloaded through the uh, cable into here, and then this will run. Other things that we need to be concerned with this set of strips, these are contacts. You will notice when you look at this, there are numbers, these pin numbers. Um, co these correspond to various ports, input and output ports, digital I.O. ports and analog ports on the controller. So we'll wire from here out to a proto board, right? So you're going to need a proto board. Other things that we have, there's a uh, 5 volt power and ground over here as well. So we'll be basically jumping on and off of here to different sorts of things. Just to give you an idea of what we'll be starting with, we're going to light, there's a little LED on here, a little surface mount LED, and we're going to write a little program that just makes this little LED blink. So you can use this just to make sure that the communication between the PC and the board is working and that the board itself is working. And it's not going to do a whole lot more than that. We're also going to pop open something called a serial monitor. This can communicate back and forth uh, through the USB cable with your PC so we can send text down and get things back. We might use that for uh, debugging purposes usually. But in any case, we're going to start there just so that uh, you know everything is working correctly. Now, if you get a little bit fancier on here, you can get little daughter boards that will actually fit right into here. And then you can wire to those things, sort of expand this. But ultimately, you know, we're just going to be jumping wires over here and build our circuits, transistors and diodes and so forth on the proto board. So just to give you an idea of where we're headed, here we have a nice little circuit. Well, you can see this, this Uno looks a little bit different from this one done, right? But it's still basically the same thing. So we have wires that are jumping right off these headers onto the board. We've got some switches and transistors and LEDs and so forth, a resistor network. In fact, this whole thing is a uh, digital direct digital synthesis function generator. This thing generates sine, square, and triangle waves. You can adjust the frequency as well as the wave shape. You can also make it produce arbitrary waves that uh, you, know, you might want to create. But in any case, this is one of the very last labs in the lab manual, so we're going to work our way to that. But before we get there, we do want to make sure that our board works. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shift over to the uh, computer and we'll look at the interface, the uh, development interface for this, write this little program, download it, and although you won't see this LED blinking, you will see the serial monitor indicating that there is something going on. Okay, so now we're going to switch. Okay, so here's the Arduino editor, open, full screen. And what you'll notice is we have two little stub functions in here called setup and loop. Now this is referred to in 
Arduino parlance as a sketch, not really a C program, but it ultimately it really is. Now main, which you don't see, has already been written for you. So I'll just do this real quick like. Main has three functions. In it, setup, right, which we see below, and a little loop that runs forever. Right, while one is going to run forever. In it are things that the system takes care of for you. For example, setting up the timers on the microcontroller. Setup is sort of your version of that. If you need to, you know, uh, set a particular input port or output port, you know, you need to set the direction of a bidirectional port or something along that line. That's what you do in setup. It's a, it's a one-time thing, right at the beginning of the program. Then the loop function is what you're going to call as this thing repeatedly runs. Okay, it just goes over and over and over. So you don't actually have to write a loop. You just remember that the loop function literally gets looped. So we don't really write main. All we ever worry about is the setup, right? The stuff we do once at the front end, and then the thing that's just going to continue over and over and over and over and over and over. Okay. All right, so I'm going to paste in a little program here just to show you what's happening. All right, so we have the setup function and the loop function. Now, all this thing does is it toggles that little onboard LED on off, on off, it blinks. And it also makes use of the uh, serial communication um, capability so that we can look at the serial monitor and and you know check out some text so that's just the setup and then the loop there's really a, a very simple sort of thing we can kind of divide this into two pieces you can see we're going to print the word on then the led output goes high this turns on the led we then wait for 2000 milliseconds or two seconds and then after that we print out off we turn the led off the onboard led we wait one second and then what will happen is once this completes remember this is inside the while loop so it's just going to come back up and do this over again so we're just going to see this led flashing on and off while the serial monitor this little thing i'll show you in a sec prints the words on off on off on off so before we do this we have we have some setup things we have to deal with for example we have to select the board now this has already been set up uh, from before but you can see there's a, a big list of you know, boards you can choose from. So we're using an Arduino Uno. Um, we also need to refer to the port that we're connected to. In other words, the USB port. So in my particular computer, this is COM3. It could be you know, COM4, COM5, COM2, you know, whatever it is on your computer. But those have to be selected. Now, once that's done, um, we can either just directly try to download, compile and download this, or you can do a verify. So here's a little verify thing. And let's see, it says compiling sketch over here, and it'll tell you um, how big the program is. Okay, this is 1992 bytes. All right. Now you want to send this down to the Arduino. All right. So this is the host, my PC, and now we're going to send it down. They, they call it uploading, but either way. So this is going to do its thing, okay, and um, this should be running. So if we if we go over and look at the Arduino, in fact, the LED is flashing. But I did mention that there is this thing called Serial Monitor. So this window pops open, and this is how we can get data into and out of our Arduino. So we had these commands over here that just print on and off, and you can see as they're just going on here, right? They're just going to print down. And uh, I can't show it right now, but if when you do this, you will see the LED in sync with the words on, off, on, off, on, off. This up here is when we want to send data to the device. We can put things in here and send them through the serial port. Okay, all right. Looks, looks good, huh? We're just scratching the surface. We'll get there.